Welcome to our Curriculum Cafe videos. During this video, we will be taking a look at Kim Sutton's number line and how to use it to help students make sense of multiplication and division. Kim Sutton's number line is not just your typical number line. It is a key resource that we can use in the classroom to help students see patterns within numbers. This number line can be used in all grade levels, kinder through 12th grade. If you pay close attention, you will notice those colored dots at the top of some of those numbers. When we introduce this number line to students in kinder through fifth grade, we introduce it without any dots. Then, while working with the students, we slowly build this number line together. We start by counting by twos. Then, every multiple of two will receive a, a red dot right above it. We then start to count by threes, and all multiples of three will receive a green dot above them, and so forth, until we have the entire um, number line completed. This is crucial for students making sense of multiples and factors because not only am I able to see multiples of my digits two through 12 with these color-coded dots, but I can also see the numbers two through 12 as a factor. Multiples and factors are crucial for multiplication and division. Let's zoom in so that I can explain what I mean. Let's take 18 for example. I can look at a number like 18 and know that it is divisible by two, three, six, and nine, just by looking at those color-coded dots above it. Red always represents two, green always represents three. That light blue color that you see there represents six, and then that black dot represents nine. I can also look at two numbers like 12 and 18, and know that these two numbers have two, three, and six as common factors. And since six is the largest common factor, it is the GCF. This same concept helps with, with rewriting fractions with larger units. If my fraction is, for example, 16 twentieths, I can find the GCF for 16 and 20th by looking at those colored dots above it. And I know that I can rewrite this fraction by dividing it by 4 fourths, since the GCF is 4 for both of these. And I can get 4 fifths as my equivalent fraction. Another nice aspect of using the Kim Sutton number line is that we are able to identify prime and composite numbers. If there's any dots above my number, it is composite. If there's no dot, my number is prime. If you would like to incorporate Kim Sutton number line into your classroom, we have various resources to help you get started. If we start on the Symbaloo OMSD Symbaloo page, you can go ahead and click into the curriculum and instruction website. Once here, you will click into the Math Resources website right below. Once you're in our Math Resources website, you will look over on the side tab and you will find a tab that says Math Intervention and Kim Sutton Materials. Go ahead and click on there. You're going to want to pass the Math Readiness Assessments and below that you will find all of our Kim Sutton resources that we have available to you. The number line is available in both a printable and a virtual version. The printable version comes in both a student size and a class size. We have a 3-6 student size, a 3-6 with negative student size, and a K-2 number line that's student size. We also have the class size that you can use to print and make a class size number line to use. We also have available the Kim Sutton directions on how to incorporate a number line into your class. This includes the color patterns that we use in that number line, as well as how, as well as how we introduce the different multiples. We also have a virtual number line that you can use with your students, and this comes in both a K2 version that includes only the factors of 2, 5, and 10, and then a third and above version that includes all of the factors 2 through 12. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I can help you incorporate this into your class.